Hi, I'm Dr. Michaela Livingston, and in this video, I'm going to be talking you through how to set up the PCR reaction for the Equestion of Taste workshop. In this workshop, we use PCR to amplify a specific bit of DNA that we're interested in. This works by going through repeated cycles of heating and cooling. So first of all, at 94 degrees, the DNA unzips. Then, at 58 degrees, the primers anneal to the DNA. And then at 72 degrees, TAC polymerase extends this to copy the DNA. So it uses your DNA as a template. And then this is repeated 35 times. And what you end up with is billions of copies of that specific stretch of DNA that you're interested in. We recommend using a dry PCR master mix, which has everything required to do the PCR reaction, apart from primers and the DNA template from the student's DNA samples. So this includes TAC polymerase enzyme, nucleotides, magnesium, and buffer. It looks like a bead and comes in 0.2 microliter tubes. These are very small and fiddly, so always be sure to hold it up to eye level and keep a close eye on what you're doing. To set up the reaction, students need to add 22.5 microliters of the primer mix. So simply pipette that out and add it carefully to the bead. Once you add the liquid to the bead, it will start to dissolve. And if you carefully pipette up and down, you'll see that it dissolves. But be careful not to add any bubbles. If you do get a bubble, just give the tube a quick flick. Next, students need to add 2.5 microliters of their DNA sample, being really careful to avoid the Chilex beads being disturbed. If they have been disturbed, simply pop the tube back in the microcentrifuge for a few seconds. Students need to add their DNA carefully to this mixture. Remember to push all the way out past the first stop to get it all out. Then, if they simply pipette up and down to mix everything up should be fine. Next, simply place your PCR reaction tube into the PCR machine. Close the lid and adjust if necessary to make sure it's closed tightly. To set up a new file on your PCR machine, first just select F1 underneath the file option, then choose new file. Then all you need to do is add a segment. So under plus segment, press this button. You can then tell it what temperature. So the first one is 94. Then you press the arrow key over to time and type in the number of minutes or seconds, in this case, 30 seconds. And then once you've done this, you can add the next segment by pressing segment and then typing in the temperature and time that you want. And then again, put in another segment and another segment as so. Once you're finished doing that, you need to tell it how many times it needs to cycle and which segments to cycle. So you press this button here underneath plus cycle and it will say how many cycles. So you want 35 cycles and it will ask you which segments you want to repeat. So in this case, we want one to three. So just press three. Once you've done that, just press save Give it a name, you can use these buttons to type this in. If you want a password, type in a password and so on. And then you can run it by pressing run here. You only need to set up a program for your PCR once. Once you've done that, you can simply select it and run it straight away. So again, under file, press F1. Use the arrow keys to select the file you want and then just press run. It'll ask you the volume you want to write, so 220 microliters there, and then just press run again, and it should say now running. And if you ever want to stop or pause it, simply press these buttons underneath whatever you want to do. So stop, it'll ask you if you want to stop, press stop again.